As the year 2025 begins, you'll be surprised with one of the most fantastic astronomical events ever that you just cannot miss. Six planets will align and present themselves in dazzling formation in the night sky. And here's where it gets so much better. It's a golden opportunity to see the solar system come to life. The alignment will expand into a seven-planet parade. Add to that a crescent moon shining its light over the lineup, and you've got a sky-watching event for the ages. But that's not all. Double and triple conjunctions will take center stage throughout the months, with planets appearing incredibly close to one another, and even a rare lunar occultation of Mars happening in March. These alignments are not just rare, they're unforgettable. This January, the night sky will feature an astonishing celestial event, the rare alignment of six of the seven solar system planets. This phenomenon, known as the Planet Parade, involves positioning multiple planets from the vantage point on Earth, such that they are simultaneously visible to the naked eye in the night sky. It all starts on the 8th, with a crescent moon riding up alongside the planetary lineup, adding a touch of magic to the evening. When evening twilight gives way to darkness, look to the southwestern horizon. Venus and Saturn will be there, in Aquarius, near one another. Venus blazes away at a stunning magnitude of 4.5. She can't be missed. Saturn shines much more dimly at magnitude 1, but its close presence will make a striking contrast. As the days progress, Venus and Saturn draw near to each other and they will be in what is known as conjunction. The planets will loosely fit within the same telescopic field of view. Not that it matters, because this event was meant for the naked eye or binoculars. At the same time, Jupiter, the second brightest point of light in our night skies after Venus, will dominate the higher altitudes. Rising in the eastern skies, it is one of the best views we will get this year, as it recently passed opposition. In the, the sky's eastern half, a slowly brightening Mars will cast its signature reddish hue. By March 12th, Mars will be nearer to Earth than at any time in the past two years, and for this reason, it is advisable to begin our observations then. If you have a telescope, you can see that Uranus will appear near Jupiter, while Neptune aligns closer to Venus and Saturn. You will also get a chance to see Saturn before it becomes lost in the Sun's glare after March. The developing elongation of these planets during January will present an engaging and ever-changing display in the evening heavens, repaying handsomely for the occasional stargazer and the dedicated astronomer. Make sure to mark your calendars since January serves as one of the most visually striking celestial events of the year. February takes the excitement of January's celestial alignment to the next level with a rare seven-planet parade. This fabulous occurrence adds Mercury to the mix, joining Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune at the planetary table. It happens just once in several years, so there's no way you're going to want to miss this one. The best viewing window for this event falls between February 1st and February 14th, when the waxing moon reappears in the evening sky and joins the planetary lineup. Observe the planets spread out along the horizon in an arc so bright it almost screams the word dazzling about the solar system. Higher in the sky, Venus will continue to steal the show as the brightest object with Mars showing off its glowing red. Meanwhile, Saturn edges closer to its solar conjunction in March, appearing faint and lower in the sky as it slowly fades from view. Uranus and Neptune add the final touches to this planetary orchestra, positioned near Jupiter and Venus, respectively. While the planetary parade is dazzling everyone, 2025 brings even more magic with a series of rare conjunctions and a lunar occultation that will leave you completely spellbound. These happen when the planets or other bodies in space come close to each other in the sky and create stunning visual spectacles. The first striking event happens on January 18th. This is when Venus and Saturn will have a close conjunction in the constellation Aquarius. Venus shines at a magnitude of 4.5, far too bright for anyone to miss. Though fainter, Saturn will do its part and add to the elegance of this pairing in the sky. For several evenings around that date, the two planets will seem just a few degrees apart, with the separation continuing to be noticeable 
in observations using binoculars or small telescopes. In March, the excitement peaks with a lunar occultation of Mars on the 13th. Such a rare phenomenon occurs as the Moon passes in front of the red planet blocking it momentarily from view. If you're looking at the sky from North America and Africa, you will have the best seats to witness this celestial hide-and-seek. Another major conjunction occurs on August the 12th when Venus and Jupiter, the two brightest planets, will be less than one degree apart in the constellation Gemini. This will happen on the nights of the Perseid meteor shower, providing stargazers with a double shot of cosmic treats. Those streaking meteors, with the brilliant double star formed by Venus and Jupiter, promise an unforgettable night under the stars. Towards the end of the year, the Moon participates in planetary conjunctions in what are known as triple conjunctions. The most notable occurs on February 1st, as a crescent moon nestles between Venus and Saturn, lighting up the twilight sky. Additional triple conjunctions featuring Venus and Regulus, the brightest star in Leo, will grace September skies. In order to fully maximize these stunning planetary occurrences, you also have to be fully prepared. The single most important thing is timing, but location and having the right equipment come right up behind that. Firstly, it is important to note down these important dates in your calendar. For example, the planetary period begins on January 8th and on March 13th, there will be a rare lunar occultation of Mars. This way, you will follow through with being prepared and not caught completely off guard by stunning events taking place in the sky. Next, finding the perfect location is essential. The best places for stargazing are those areas far from the light pollution of city streets. If you can, go to rural places or up elevated locations like hills, mountains or rooftops. These vantage points give you an unobstructed view of the horizons where the planets will be visible. Timing is also very important. To see the planets at their best, plan to observe them just after sunset for something like the Venus-Saturn conjunction or before sunrise for morning planetary alignments. If you know the precise times for twilight and for when the planets are visible in your region, you have the opportunity to time things perfectly. While planets such as Venus, Jupiter and Mars can be seen with the naked eye, optical aid is required for some others, such as Neptune and Uranus. However, with the help of a pair of binoculars or a small telescope, finer details can be revealed. Even an amateur astronomer can see the iconic rings of Saturn and Jupiter's moons. Don't forget to check the weather before heading out because, of course, clear skies are needed for perfect stargazing. If there are clouds, you might want to change your plans or change the site. Dress warmly and take along a few more things that can make such a moment even better. Comfortable seating, a chaise lounge or a blanket would be nice so that you can relax and look up. To turn things up a notch, download a stargazing app to help you identify the planets and constellations up there. In case someone is crazy about photography, then bring along a good camera on a tripod stand to capture the planets in all their celestial glory. You should be more than prepared to gaze up at cosmic marvels that are to come this year. 2025 is going to be a year with so many amazing celestial events that will surely capture the attention of stargazers from all across the globe. One of the most exciting events to kick off the year is the partial solar eclipse due on May 29th. It begins at 8.50 Greenwich Mean Time when the Moon almost snugly covers the Sun to create a stunning thin crescent visible from parts of the northeastern United States. Some of Canada's eastern areas, plus Greenland, Europe, Northwest Africa and Northwestern Russia. With a magnitude of 0.9376 at its peak, this will be quite an impressive sight though proper solar filters or eclipse glasses must be used for safety. As the months roll by, on May 5th to May 6th, the Eta Aquariid meteor shower will peak. Its most enjoyable viewing is from the Southern Hemisphere because it brings long trails, and plenty of them, across the sky. However, even those in the north can catch a little of the action, particularly those as up to about 40 degrees north latitude. With up to 50 meteors per hour during the peak, 
This is one you really don't want to miss if you're an early riser. Another eye-catching planetary meeting will take place on August the 12th, when Venus and Jupiter will come very close to each other, just 52 arc minutes. Both planets will be visible on the eastern horizon just before sunrise. Venus will somewhat outshine Jupiter in the same field of view, shining at magnitude minus 4 compared to Jupiter's slightly dimmer magnitude of minus 1.9. A brilliant sight not to be missed. One of the most spectacular astronomical events of the year will be the Blood Moon on September 7th. This total lunar eclipse will be visible from Australia, Asia, Africa and Europe. It will last 1 hour and 22 minutes, the complete duration of a total lunar eclipse since 2022. See the moon turn into a warm red blanket of love. One other event of September is the opposition of Saturn on the 21 first when it rises at sunset, visible literally all night shining at 0.6. It's best performance this year, by the way. But the excitement doesn't stop there. After the opposition, the planet's rings will appear thinner as the months go on, culminating in a spectacular edge-on view on November 23rd. November is the time we get to watch the meteor showers of Taurid, an infrequent event that occurs once in a few years. The southern Taurids will reach their peak on November 5th, closely followed by the November 12th on the northern Taurids. While the meteor rates aren't as high as other showers, this year's Taurid Swarm promises more bright meteors and fireballs, creating a truly captivating sky show. Put on your meteor glasses, avoid the moon, and savour the occasion as it comes. Then, November 5th will be the day to experience the most powerful supermoon of the whole year. This supermoon will be 7.9% more significant and 16% more brilliant than an average full moon. Without the use of a telescope, these two celestial bodies may look similar in size and brightness, but the better you look, the more noticeable the difference will be. Hence, allowing the best situation to occur for stargazing. On the 25th of November, the distance between Venus and Mercury will be the smallest, reaching just 59 arc minutes of each other. These planets will be seen from the eastern horizon just prior to sunrise, with Venus shining at a magnitude of minus 3.9 and Mercury at 2.0, thus making them visible. This is another close approach that will allow us to view two of the inner neighbours in the planetary section. Closing the year, the Geminid meteor shower will hit its peak on December 14th. They rank among the most active meteor showers during the year. It will indeed be a great night for stargazing. With all these phenomenal astronomical events lying ahead, 2025 promises to become one of those years that no sky watcher will ever forget. It does not matter whether you are going to watch the solar eclipse, the beauty of planetary conjunction, or the astonishing meteor showers. There is something for everyone in the year sky. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video.